интересно. Oh, don't you love that thing smacking on the table like that? Um, depth. I've never seen so many stupid people, and by stupid people I mean people in photography forums, because uh, those are the ones, dumbest people on earth. You know what happens when you get a group of people together? They engage in groupthink, and there's nothing more stupid than groupthink. And I've never seen people scoff so much about the concept of depth in photography. They're like, that's a two-dimensional image. I don't know what the hell you talk about depth. There's a lot of variations of depth. Micro contrast is a really important one. How you actually render the image, contrast, definition. Let's go over some of them here and then let's make this video really short, which is opposite of most of my videos, right? Luminal depth, micro contrast, render depth. That'd be intertonal detail. Like, what is a really easy definition of micro contrast? Well, draw a person in outline, right? That's got no depth. Oh, okay. Now add some shading. Ooh, look at the depth. That low gain intertonal detail, micro contrast, that really adds pop. People call it Zeiss pop, 3D pop, micro contrast. Those words have been around long before I mentioned it. It is real. These people think it is like the abominable snowman or like a unicorn. These people, I mean, the people on the photo, they think that shit is, doesn't even exist. They're so stupid. It's a 2D image. I don't know where you get this depth shit from. Well, this is also a 2D image, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> not meaning you people. You see this? This is a hologram. This is a professional art hologram. You probably can't see how like, ooh. This is also a 2D image. You know, people buy this stuff and it actually takes a lot of time to make a true art hologram in the old-fashioned way. Ooh. This is also two-dimensional, but there is what, something in this image called depth. Dumbasses. Not meaning you people. Um, spatial depth, depth of field, the rendering, the bokeh. Obviously, you can isolate out a person. You can actually, you know, go from like f5, 6 to f2. You know, isolate the person. They've got depth separation. There's a lot of aspects of depth. Number one is attributes of depth, translational, perceptual depth, render depth, um, binocular disparity, 14-bit uh, depth, for example, which would be... Uh, um, uh, the depth that's actually captured and the amount of uh, detail in uh, the raw file or the JPEG. Hopefully you're not a JPEG shooter. Um, compositional depth as far as lighting. You know, if you blast somebody with light, it looks like a snapshot and they look like they're pasted into the background and there's no depth. That's due to lighting. You know, lighting gives definition to shit, right? Yeah! You don't know that, then you probably should give up photography as a hobby and definitely as a profession. Um, I could actually go into a lot more details, but I, you people <laughs> start snoring on me. Um, suffice to say, everything is about lighting, bokeh, micro contrast, a few other things that you don't want me to get into, but depth is real. You know, it's like, well, it's a two-dimensional image. I mean, these people actually think talking about depth in photography is like talking about unicorns. They're stupid. I mean, they're just, they are just brain dead stupid. Just, next time someone bitches to you about depth, you know, ask them about what the fuck a hologram is for. It's like, that's a 2D image too right there. You see, it's two dimensional. It's flat. As flat as Kira Knightley's chest. <laughs> that's pretty funny, I gotta admit. That was pretty funny. Flat as Kira Knightley. But there's depth there. Yeah. 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 Depth. Giving something depth by means of lighting, contrast, bokeh, micro contrast. Okay? What is micro contrast? Is low gain intertonal details that define the shading, shape, contour, give definition. If you're a black and white photographer and you wonder why your pictures suck when it comes to, even if you expose it perfectly, like, man, I don't know how come, you know, these people, you know, their images look like it's because you're shooting like some high element count crap lens that has poor micro, con I've given a thousand examples already over the past several years of micro contrast. If you can't see it, that is your own damn problem. But all the people on the photography forum, my depth doesn't exist. Really? Really? Is that the case? No, it does exist, girlfriend. The fact that you can't see it, I don't give a damn, it does exist. You know? The same sort of people can't tell the difference between a $5 piece of uh, gutter swill wine you know, that the hobos drink. 
versus like a you know a ten thousand uh, dollar Italian uh, Upper Valley Cabernet. They don't know the difference. You know, they don't. They can't even appreciate quality. Ah, that stuff's the same. Okay, so that five dollar Zinfandel is the same as that ten thousand dollar bottle of Cabernet. You're like you're a fucking idiot. Those are the same people that think there's no such thing as photographic depth. And no depth in that photograph. It's two dimensional. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. You you don't know what I'm talking about. And they don't want to learn. That means they have a closed mind. <laughs> It's completely cro closed. It's rusted shut. Let that, that be their problem. The people, I've had so many thousands of people like, Oh my God, I bought this lens. You said it was so awesome. And it's, I've never seen images like this. I've never had a, a lens like this in my hands before. Like the Voigtlander 58. I got all this dust on my table. Voigtlander 58 and other lenses. You're like, oh my God. Oh my God! There was a woman today. I shit you not. She sent me an email. She she sent me a picture of her Voigtlander 58 that she bought, and she said, but the title of her email was "I can finally die happy now." I shit you not. That was the title of her email. It was "I can finally die happy now." As a woman, and I forget her name. I was like, cool. And then I sent her an email. I was like, I'm glad you're happy. She says, I'm going to weld this onto my camera. Not literally. She's so happy with it. Never used a lens like that before. There are great lenses out there. And they will make a serious difference. And you should not listen to the assholes on the photography forums because they don't know what the hell up from down is. They don't know they don't know the difference between a uh, you know, a well and their own fanny. So Yes, girlfriend, depth is real. Yes, of course it takes on many forms. Lighting, bokeh, micro contrast. Most people deny micro contrast exists. They can't see it. They're they're blind. They're stupid. That is their problem. It doesn't have to be your problem. Okay. They think like a twenty element count, eighteen to two hundred is as good as an eighty five. Well, that covers eighty five millimeters too. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's an eighty five, but in name only. You know, it's not like picking up a Zeiss eighty five one four planar. And then dialing that in. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. You can hear angels on the image. It's like, wow, man, that's the tits. Look at that. Wow. I know no zoom lens made that image. It's like, you're right. It's a low element count prime lens. And it's absolutely necessary to have that kind of stuff for black and white photography. If your black and white is sucking, it's because you got a crappy lens. Because micro contrast is vitally important for black and white of photography. And there's no denying that, no matter how hard anybody may protest. It's undeniable. It's irrefutable. It's existential. It is empirically valid. And all the bitching and moaning in the world wah, 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 won't change anything. Thank you for watching so much. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me, jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. Get out and take photos. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. That's why I got this 2470 lens on my Nikon D500. I'm going to be out shooting tomorrow. Yeah! I'm going to run across a couple Hollywood starlets. Hey, baby. Yeah, like they ever talk to me. But I'm going to run across them anyway. Hey, girl, what's up? <whistles> yeah. No. <laughs> it's true, though. But not that whole, you know, hitting on them part there. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>